Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Tom Pellucci, the Director of Interiors with HOK. Tom, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for asking. It's how good. are you? I'm good. It's good to be with you. You're up in New York. I know you're leaving sometime this weekend for Chicago for Neocon. That's what I want to talk to you about. But before we get into that, I'd like to talk a little bit about your background. At HOK, you focus on workplace design. Prior to getting into that, you went to school at Washington University. I wanted to point that out because the three founders of HOK went there. I was wondering if there was a tie to that. (laughs) That's funny. No, I think it was just good happenstance. I went to undergraduate school at Catholic University and got a degree in architecture and decided after working in New York for a couple of years that I really wanted a master's degree and that I thought in my career I would teach at some point in time and I knew I needed a master's degree to do that. So I was fortunate enough to be accepted to Wash U. It was a wonderful experience, great school. And not only did I get my master's degree, I did get the chance to teach there for about five years. In my time at Wash U, I learned more and more about HOK since St. Louis is the founding office of HOK and that's where Wash U is. And how's business? Are you really busy right now? Kind of give us a lay of the land because I know designers are pretty busy right now, aren't they? Yes, and the construction industry and profession as a whole is incredibly busy. Mm -hmm. People are building. People are building, I would say, pretty much across the United States and into Canada. Our Canadian practice is incredibly busy. It's crazy, frankly, and challenging. I think the biggest challenge for ourselves, and I think anyone in the profession right now, is just having enough available staff to participate in the projects that our our clients are asking us to do. I think our number one situation is really having enough professionals in the industry. Well, we did an interview with you in our June issue of Floor Focus, which will be at Neocon. So thank you so much for working with us on that. And for those that are interested, we we delve into more depth on workplace design and some of the trends that are going on there. One of the projects that you're most well known for is the WPP project at the World Trade Center number three. That was a challenging project, wasn't it? It was an exciting project. It was a lot of fun to work on. It took a long time. So yeah, I think lots of projects have challenges, but uh, what was interesting was how we attacked those challenges and turned them into assets for a project. That project was unique because for the Group M companies and for Kantar, who are the tenants of the space, they have a lot of different sub-brands or or companies inside that umbrella. And we really had to design to each one of them in somewhat of a unique way. So we had about eight or nine designers attached to the project, each one with a focus on an individual brand. And that was exciting to organize and structure and get a large group of client group organized to kind of make decisions and think about design and, and think about the totality of the project as well as really focus on their individual spaces. So it was it was a very exciting project, and we're thrilled with the outcome. The client's thrilled with the outcome. It's been a real success. We're, in fact, embarking on a post-occupancy survey with the client and their staff. So we're going to learn a lot more after now that they've lived in it for almost a year to really see how well it's working and where we can maybe work with them to tweak some things. Mm-hmm. So very exciting. Okay. So let's do focus now on Neocon and how you work the show. Do you go to Neocon every year? I try to go absolutely every year. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Do you set appointments or, you uh, you know, elevators are an issue. Uh, do, you just, <laughs> do you just go up to 11 and, and work down or how do you do it? There's a couple different strategies, right? Um, I definitely make or have appointments set up with different manufacturers to to get a tour and an understanding of what might be new in terms of products and materials throughout the, the showrooms at Neocon. My strategy is typically... I try to go Monday, Tuesday, Mm -hmm. and sometimes stay for Wednesday, but usually Monday, Tuesday. Monday, I try to make most of my appointments, and then Tuesday, I have maybe a few appointments, and then I float around, and then I try to spend time on, I think it's the seventh floor, where there are a number of different booths, and there's a lot of different products, and I try to kind of peruse that to, to see what's latest and greatest might be coming from other parts of the world manufacturers that don't necessarily have showrooms in Chicago. So, yeah, I always find that really fascinating. Mm -hmm. Do you go with projects in mind? Or even a more in-depth question is, do you sometimes take a client with you? So as firm-wide leader of interiors at HOK, we have teams at Neocon with clients. 
So I try to attach myself to some of the key ones that I might be personally involved in or that those offices say, hey, it'd be great if you could join us. I specifically am not necessarily always taking a client through, but I know our teams are, and I try to help and participate where required. And that's either on true projects where we're actually in delivery or we're meeting with clients for the first time and making introductions of HOK and what we do. So, you know, a lot of different people attend Neocon, and we try to take advantage of seeing as many people as possible and participating in all kinds of different events and efforts with clients. Well, it sounds like you have to go to a lot of different places on a lot of different floors, so I guess you pretty well understand the inner stairwells. Yes, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to work in Chicago for about six-plus years, so I spent a lot of time in the mart. So, yes, I, I kind of know the, the back route. Okay. <laughs> Are there any flooring exhibits that you make a point to visit? Absolutely. I really enjoy seeing a number of the major manufacturers that we're familiar with. And um, I think what's so interesting with so many of the manufacturers is that they've really put together this whole kind of array of product types and offerings not just carpeting. They might be offering luxury vinyl tile, wood flooring, tile flooring. So the ability to really see a full kind of compendium of products by a single manufacturer is very important because our clients are asking us to really think outside of the box. And the floor surface is the biggest surface area after the ceiling, right? And so it has a huge visual impact in, in the space. It's, it's interesting that you mentioned wood because statistically it's only, it's probably less than 3% of what's specified in a commercial environment. And yet it, there's a, a little bit of a trend and we're seeing more and more use of wood. I agree. We're using more and more wood. Clients are really interested in authenticity and the realness of real wood in a space. And that could be, wow, if you're really lucky and you're doing like, solid wood flooring or just, you know, engineered flooring that's designed to last in a space is becoming more and more prevalent in the work we're doing. And it might not be the entire project, but definitely key areas are getting that treatment. Mm -hmm. Do you attend any social events as part of Neocon? Absolutely. I'm fortunate enough to be at HOK now 21 years, and we're a big firm, and we've got lots of people in lots of different offices around the world, and it's a really great time For us to connect, so every Tuesday morning of Neocon, we host a breakfast for all HOKers that are in town, and it's a great way to connect. So we have our own social events, and then we're always connecting with, you know, our friends at various manufacturers and other, you know, former colleagues and colleagues at other firms. So it's a great way to reconnect with folks and uh, touch base. Definitely social events. So I guess it's safe to say you're looking forward to next week, aren't you? I am. You know, the other part of next week, it's also a focus on IIDA Mm -hmm. and the chance to go to the annual meeting and really understand what our professional organization is doing for all interior designers. And it's nice that that's a way in which this whole week begins for us. And then you get right into it with the products and the tours and the social events. All right, Tom, thanks for spending time with us. Again, been talking to Tom Pellucci, the Director of Interiors with HOK, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.